seen coming down the mountain of uh, 120. Left the uh, campground this morning about 8 o'clock. Headed to Barstow. Yeah. Decided uh, against going to Sequoia. It's, I'm sorry, it's March 20th and it's uh, supposed to snow for the next two days. So they, they already have part of some of the roads shut down there. So I doubt if we'd even be able to get in. So I'm going to try to head south and uh, work our way over to Death Valley. So see if we can see what we can work out there. So stay tuned. It's a, oh, and it's about uh, 50 degrees. Pleasant day. Uh, not too cold. Don Pedro Lake, created by Don Pedro Dam on the Tulumine, Tulumi River, T-U-O-L-U-M-N-E, near LaGrange. This project was completed in 1971 to provide irrigation, domestic water, flood control, electricity, recreation, and fish enhancement uh, da, 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 constructed by uh, San Francisco, uh, full reservoir water surface, uh, 830 feet, storage, 2 million, uh, over 2 million acre feet, whatever that converts to, 160 miles of shoreline. And that's the mountains we just came down out of. That was a fun ride. Beautiful. Beautiful reservoir, though. Well, we just uh, climbed in elevation, uh, climbed up out of the Central Valley, and uh, I guess we're approaching uh, Mojave, so we must be in the Mojave Desert again. I began to see the uh, Joshua trees. A little more barren landscape. Well, this is the scene uh, headed towards China Lake, where smack dab in the Mojave Desert now. We don't even see any more Joshua trees. But there is a state park here, Red Rock State Park. Just past Jawbone Station. Outpost of the uh, Department of the Interior there. That's Bureau of Land Management. It says we have about uh, 25 miles to go. Reminds me almost of the Badlands. Excuse the bugs on the windshield. It's, uh, there are bugs out here in the desert. It's a uh, pretty scenery. Different from what we've gotten used to. Hi, I'm Faith. Hi, I'm Jill. Welcome, Welcome to, to China, China Lake. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Well, this is the campground. Concrete pads, level, full hookups. Beautiful scenery. Clean. Laundry, showers, restrooms, community room. Beautiful. Great place. Well, the sun's coming up over the uh, mountains there in the east, here at China Lake. Very pretty. And causing, I hope this is coming out, a rainbow that goes up and comes down. because we're getting a little rain here in the desert. Almost a perfect rainbow. It's gonna be a good day. Good morning. Left uh, China Lake this morning. It's about uh, 10 minutes to 8. Uh, these are some of the views that we have coming out of China Lake headed over to Death Valley. It's uh, 50 degrees, overcast is sprinkling a little bit this morning. So that rain in the desert looks like quite a beautiful rain. This 
So Janet Phipp to us. Janet, my neighbor, was signed out here in the early 70s with her husband, Gene, working on some secret project, uh, China Lake. She said that uh, nothing out here, and let me do my invitation, Gene. There's nothing out there, and I mean nothing out there. <laughs> J- Janet, you're wrong. <laughs> there is now. They seem to be, uh, the ladies we talked to seem to be enjoying their time on the bees. So, hope you got a kick out of that, Janet. Views, views north of uh, China Lake. So, a couple of Joshua trees back there, and it must, it must be climbing in elevation. So this must be the Mojave Desert, east of the Sierras. Maybe Janet was right. <laughs> Not a whole lot out here. But pretty. We just entered Death Valley uh, National Park, 4,000 feet of elevation. We're starting down into the valley. It's about uh, 44 degrees on an overcast day. Padre Crowley Point, in memory of the Padre of the Desert, 1891 to 1940. From the snowy heights of the Sierras beyond the dear shadows of Death Valley, beloved and trusted by people of all faiths, he led them toward life's wider horizons. Quite the view. This is the start of it. There's the valley. Just have to descend another 1,500 feet and we'll be there. We're at uh, 2,000 feet of elevation now. My ears stopped popping. My ears popped off. I can feel really? them. Yeah. Good I can pressure. feel them a little bit. Yeah. Oh, now what are all these buildings? This is uh, a resort. Springs Resort. Yep. Restaurant and burgers. Oh, pizza burgers. Okay. General store and gas station. Four ninety nine for diesel. <laughs> Who told you that? They were right. <laughs> Somebody told you that, didn't they? Yeah. Well, we climbed up the other side and got up into four thousand feet of elevation again. Now we're starting back down. So. About uh, 15 miles from, let's see, Stovepipe Wells. I don't know what that's all about. So just passed the sign uh, back up to 4,000 feet. Looks like we've got another valley coming up here. Stovepipe Wells. General Store. It's Gales. 394 for everyone. Herman William Bob Eichbaum long dreamed of building a resort hotel in Death Valley. He constructed the first road through here and charged the toll. Hi, this is Ranger Rocky and Rocky. Hi, greetings from Death Valley. Uh, Probably one of the most beautiful places in the winter time to be. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, don't want to be here in the summer. Uh, no, I, you won't catch me here in the summer. <laughs> okay, thanks, Rocky. All righty, you guys enjoy. Okay, this is Death Valley. The other valley, we, the first valley we were in was Panamint Valley. You got the sand dunes off to the left here. Scotty's Castle is a ways up off to the to the north of us over here. The road's closed, they're doing renovations, so we can't get in and see that. Probably won't be open in 2019. So, oh well, we're off to uh, Furnace Creek. We're headed to Furnace Creek, see what that's all about. Yep, 
Scotty's Castle is closed. The highway, uh, the road to Scotty's Castle is closed. Just to pass the sign that said we were at sea level. So, came down from 4,000 feet to over 4,000 feet to the sea level. And we'll be below sea level, we'll go a little further in the park. Uh, it's white gold. The Death, Death Valley produced few fortunes. Borax, the white gold of the desert, ranks as the valley's most profitable mineral. A 20 mule team at the Harmony Borax work, about 1885. It operated from 1883 to 1888. Some type of stove. Harmony Borax Works. San Francisco businessman William Coleman built the plant in 1882 to refine the cotton ball borax found on the nearby salt flats. Yeah, so right out there. The high cost of transportation made it necessary to refine the borax here rather than carry both the borax and waste to the railroad, 165 miles across the desert. <sighs> Borates, salt minerals, were deposited in the ancient lake beds that uplifted and eroded into the yellow Furnace Creek Badlands. Water dissolved the borates and carried them to the Death Valley floor where they recrystallized as borax. Chinese laborers recruited from San Francisco scraped the borax off the salt flats and carried it by wagon to the refinery. They received $1.30 per day less lodging and the cost of food they bought at the company store. I don't know if that's uh, some of the housing over there or the company store. The 20 mule teams. For more than a century, the 20 mule team has been the symbol of the borax industry. Status is well earned. The teams helped solve the most difficult task that was faced uh, by Death Valley borax operators getting the product to market. They pulled loads weighing up to 36 tons, including 1,200 gallons of drinking water. Hi there! We're in Borax land in the Death Valley. Gorgeous oh. out here though. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, welcome to Badwater Basin, lowest point in the U.S. 282 feet below That's sea level. Needed. We bought him from, she does the trials, and he does oh, the really jellies, walking and out there. Yeah, that's the little salty lake. Bad water. That's all the colors on the rock. This is the artist drive. It be shorter than 22 feet, though. So it cuts us out with the airstream. And over to the left is the Devil's Golf Course. Start of Artist Drive. 25 foot length restriction. Drive through all the different color formations. It's greens, browns, golds. Sabrisky, Sabruski Point. It's like a beer brewery. <laughs> yeah. it's by a Polish guy. Yeah. 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 Where they yeah. located more borax. Yeah, did a lot of mining around and here. And the mountains here are just picturesque, beautiful. So, 78 degrees on an overcast day on March 21st. Pleasant enough. <laughs> We're just about to uh, come into Nevada. In fact, I think this is the state line right here. Welcome to Nevada. This is the desert over uh, north of Las Vegas. Just started raining again. 
Temperatures dropped down to 68 degrees. Left uh, Death Valley about, uh, I don't know, about an hour and a half ago. Should be in Vegas here in uh, about another hour. Well, this is the uh, Nellis Air Force Base RV campground. This is the new section. Some more of the uh, new section. And the older section is uh, in there and all the trees. And occasionally, you get these guys coming overhead. I hear them coming. Let's see if we can catch him. Charmaine's in seventh heaven. Okay, got it. Stitcher's Paradise. We found it. We're wrapping up our Westward Ho trip. We have the Hoover Dam and our trip home left to come. But if you like the videos, please subscribe. We uh, have our Trans Pacific cruise where we fly to Sydney, Australia, and cruise back on Explorer of the Seas to Seattle. It'll be a lot of fun, so come join the cruise with us. See you then.